We all believe that music is something that is only appealing to the ear. However, music gives many benefits such as medical use, it can help in development, it influences how we think, how we act, and allows creativity to flourish. As babies, we are constantly exploring new things. We are in our developing stages with our body as well as our brain. When a newborn is around the ages of two to three, we begin to explore. At such a young age, we are constantly making different connections with everything around us. If music were to be exposed to a baby, it would strengthen many things they would need. When exposed to music at a young age, it improves spatial reasoning, symbolic thinking, and critical thinking. Although it may not aid specifically in the music field, it helps them with other academic tasks. One of the ways music helps you with academic success is through math. Math is inexplicably linked to music. When listening to your favorite tune when doing math is a great idea. When listening to music, it keeps you focused on the task at hand. All of this is because of impulse control. The brain is filled with brain cells that send impulses to each other. They are called neurons. At the end of the cell, there are senders called dendrites. These branch-like things send messages to different parts of the brain. When you are distracted, your impulses focus that sole thing therefore making you lose track of what needs to be done. Music keeps these impulses in check so that you will not have to be distracted so easily. This is impulse control. When you listen to music, it is basically an exercise for the brain. It can benefit your brain in many ways, such as having a better memory or to think more clearly. It even benefits people who have had some minor brain damages done to them. Music can enhance one's performance and motivation when doing certain tasks. The tasks mainly involve physical activity. The songs that help motivate and make someone perform better are generally songs with a high BPM meaning beats per minute. People can often get an adrenaline rush from listening to music and that boosts a person's performance. People also feel pumped up or motivated when listening to certain songs. These songs are normally, as stated before, songs having a high BPM. The songs with a high BPM are mostly pop songs. Pop songs are normally best for enhancing performance because they have a high BPM and have a good and constant rhythm. Songs with slow BPM will most likely decrease performance. As for motivation, that can depend on one's taste of music. It has been proven in various studies that people who listen to music while performing certain tasks perform better than those who don't. Music training can help develop the brain. Music training is simply the learning of music and the learning of music is learning rhythm, pitch, melody, etc. Doing musical training can develop the left side of the brain, which is linked with processing language. Music training is best early on in life because the brain develops more in younger years of one's life. Possibly most important of all, music gives people a way to express themselves. It lets the musician or artist show their colors and show others how they feel. If someone's sad, they can play a sad tune. If they're happy, they can play something more upbeat. Self-expression is the most important thing in the world, and music can provide people with that. Besides the fact that music is very soothing to listen to, music is also very beneficial for students who learn to play a musical instrument on a regular basis. Music can significantly improve our motor and reasoning skills. Research has shown that children who have studied music for three years or more generally had better skills in recognizing patterns in tests. Tests such as IQ tests. By studying music, you greatly improve your skills to identify relations in visual problems. You can enhance your ability to pinpoint differences in shapes and patterns.
Music has the power to change how you feel. It can make someone feel happy or even sad. Music can cause the brain to release dopamine, which is a chemical that will make you feel good. Dopamine will make you feel very happy. You can also experience the same kind of happiness that you would from eating, having sex, or doing drugs. Songs that have a higher tempo are better known to make someone feel happy. And a song that has a slow tempo is more likely to make the person feel sad. Music can ease one's physical pain. The music helps the person who is in pain relax and remain distracted from the pain that they may suffer. It can also help with psychological issues, such as depression. Depression is a big issue with many people, especially amongst teens. When listening to music for this relief of pain or to help with depression, the music should however be something of slow tempo or a genre that is known to be relaxing, such as classical music or meditative music. Certain genres of music can worsen people's pain. So it is always good to know which genres not to listen to if you may suffer any pain or suffer from depression. These genres not to listen to are things like heavy metal music or anything that is very fast paced. Listening to classical music can help people who suffer from insomnia sleep better. Many studies show that classical music or any slow and soothing song helps aid in sleeping quality. An article published by the International Journal of Nursing Studies show that soothing music does aid in sleep quality. It may not work for all, but in most cases, it has great success in aiding sleep. Another plus side to this method is that it will save you tons of money. People could listen to music rather than have to buy hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of sleeping pills and this method is much safer. There aren't any side effects unlike sleeping meds. By learning to enjoy and listen to music, you are activating both parts of your brain. Listening or playing music strengthens the corpus callosum, which is a bridge between the right and the left hemisphere of the brain. This encourages the brain's hemisphere to work in harmony rather than in conflict. Both halves of the brain have a certain function. Both sides are like opposites. The right controls creativity, whereas the left controls logical thoughts. Often when wanting to solve a problem with both sides of the brain, they come into conflict with each other. One always wants to overpower the other. Since music requires both sides of the brain to work, it makes the right and the left hemisphere work together. This strengthens the corpus callosum. It strengthens communication between the halves of the brain. This aids people in solving problems. It allows musicians to look at a problem in another angle. Perhaps logical ways are not the best, so you sort to a more creative way of solving the problem. In conclusion, music is more than just a soothing melody to the ear, but something that can be beneficial to the mind one's health, and education. But always keep in mind that although music can be beneficial to these purposes, music is also extremely fun.